Okay, welcome back. I think maybe we've so man, it is dipping down bad again on me. Let's see here. Ooh, we're gonna give this a try. Audio synced now. Hopefully, we don't keep losing uh, frames. Who knows what this is gonna look like? Uh, so this is the curse of Jim Walls. It's following us everywhere. But welcome back. If you're just joining us, if you're watching the vod, uh, we have a little bit of a technical difficulty to kick things off because otherwise. I mean, it wouldn't be a stream if there weren't some technical difficulties along the way. But it's me, TCAP Jedi, and I'm here with Blue Force. 1993, Jim Walls' follow-up to Police Quest Three, released by Tsunami uh, Entertainment. Uh, basically, as far as I can tell, Tsunami was uh, a bunch of disgruntled Sierra employees who all went to go work literally across town. If you've ever been to, like, Oakhurst, it's a town that basically has one gas station and once Tsunami broke off from Sierra and set up its own software company, now all of a sudden there are two software companies in the world's smallest mountain town. So uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a strange uh, strange situation that this even exists. But we'll find out what story Jim Wall still had to tell after Police Quest Three was finished. Thanks for sticking around, everybody. Glad to see you. Uh, good, good to see you, Ben. So glad you could be here. You are truly whacked, Ben. Because what would Jim Walls do with uh, frame drops? First, Jim Walls uh, would think if you said frame drops, he was talking about maybe someone accidentally dropped the digital picture frame that his grandchildren got for him for Christmas a few years back where he uploads pictures uh, from his uh, from his iPhone 4 and uh, looks at pictures of all the grandkids and everything. He's like, who dropped uh, who dropped my photo frame? Uh, so that's the answer to that question. Jim Walls would be really angry that someone dropped his photo frame because he paid a lot for that at Kohl's and, uh, you know, he hates to see it go. So there you go. All right. That's enough. Uh, we've delayed long enough already. Let's just jump into this game and see... If it's as good of a police game as we know Jim Walls is capable of. All right, here we go. Let's do this thing. Blue Force. <laughs> Look at that. Right next door to Codename Iceman. So much entertainment there in just two lines. All right. Let's see it, Tsunami. Hey, it's that sound that video games make sometimes. Do you wish to watch the introduction? Watch. Ooh, May 15th, 1984. Look at these digitized actors. Looks like there's a crime. Jim Walls hates crimes. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Mm -hmm. There's been a murder. Oh, there might have been two murders. Possibly three. Assuming he got one murder per shot. Smooth scrolling backgrounds there. Eleven years later. All right. <laughs> Mr. Jake Ryan. <laughs> the name is already good. Dear Jake, I am pleased to personally inform you of your acceptance to Jackson Beach Police Academy. Ah, shit. Jim Walls, what are you doing to me? <laughs> yeah! <laughs>
So it turns out this game's awesome. Yes, Ken Allen went to Tsunami, and in fact, uh, Nathan, there could be a Ken Allen uh, cameo coming up. Spoiler alert. Hey, yeah, a little team fat. Slain officer's son graduates number one at Police Academy. <laughs> Definitely something the newspaper would cover. Boy, uh, Jake Ryan looks like a real chode. Did I say that on Twitch? Blue Valley Victorian. Is that what they used to call uh, David Bowie? Oh, is that it? Did I just watch this forever? Maybe this is the game. Damn, I'm supposed to be decoding what that text says. I guess I'll watch. Okay, here we go. We did it. We beat the tutorial. When are you going to come out of retirement, you know, and do, you know, the next police quest? <laughs> Thank you, Metallic. Well, here it is. Chats with HPD our first day on the job. I hope I'm up to it. Okay. Um, let's see here. So this is a guy. Oh, hello. Verb coin. A fully equipped Kawasaki 1000 police special. Let's see. I'm not a Kawasaki. This is the parking area for all police vehicles. You can walk on it, but you can't take it with you. If we want you to make a game like Police Quest, literally, don't bother. The gardener will prune it eventually. That's exactly what I wanted to do, was prune those bushes. Let's see here. What sort of fun can we have? There's a flag. Can we salute flag? We have better things to do than chasing after shadows? Looks like a windy day. The flagpole. All right. Well, at least this game isn't overwritten. The flagpole. That's a good. Well, it could be any country. That's the beauty of Jim Walls. Is he's really uh, keeping this as uh, easy to localize as possible. Nice flagpole. Okay, can't walk out in the street. That seems weird. The excessive verbosity he's wanted for. <laughs> nice reference. Good Police Quest 2 reference. Jim BB Walls. Okay, I guess we will. Maybe we'll go in the side door like a cool guy. Like we work here. Hey, it's me, Jake Ryan. Reporting for duty. Man, evidence lockup should really do something about that big hole in the wall. Okay, I didn't get to see any of the normal nudity. Only Barry, the duty officer, may enter the evidence room. I guess that means you must be Barry. My <laughs> I'm sorry, just right away, that's amazing. <laughs> My name's Ryan, what's yours? <laughs> <laughs> this is a good <laughs> name's Barry. Nice to meet you, Ryan. <laughs> Some real baby crazy so energy. Uh, you're under arrest. There's no need to use your gun here. Uh, I'm a police officer. Your ID photo looks a lot like you. 
Um, oh, here we go. This will do the trick. Now. Oh. I'm sorry. Let me just uh, reach through this wall and grab this. Oh. Nothing happens. Just like Joel from Mystery Science Theater. The normal boring stuff. Yeah, of course there wouldn't be anything interesting on a bulletin board in an adventure game. Why would you ever do that? Oh, what's this? Forest Follett's rap sheet is useless here. How do I look at things? Tsunami. Oh, look at this. Resume play. I like their verb coin. That's kind of nice. How do I actually access the rest of my inventory? Wait, oh, wait, this. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's just my gun stuff? That's where my gun stuff goes. Okay, well, we've got a rap sheet. Locker rooms. Main entrance. Okay. Yeah, but now it's almost time for the briefing. You absolute moron. The mail slots will contain messages from time to time. Hmm. So they might. Okay. There's Ken Allen. That's uh, Sierra composer Ken Allen as uh, the duty chief here. Uh, doing the ditch task acting. <laughs> Remember to use backup and y'all. No dirty Harry's. And that's with a grocer's apostrophe attached to it. No dirty Harry's. Uh, try to keep it clean out there. <laughs> so, oh, and Grayson, I'm so glad to see you. Welcome, welcome in. Uh, you have uh, requested that we degauss the stream. And you know, when you have a game that's crackling with this much electricity, uh, it's never a bad idea. So here goes. All right, now those magnetic... Uh, Waves won't come after us. Before we get the briefing started, let's all welcome our newest rookie officer, Jake Ryan. Ryan's father John was an officer for a department. A damn good one before he was gunned down. Let's get down to business. We have an update on the ripoff of the Strathmore Military Armory last week. Strathmore PD has requested that we pick up a suspect from the heist, one Forrest Follett. He's wanted for questioning. So far, none of the automatic weapons or ammunition has been recovered. Serial numbers are on Follett's rap sheet. Be sure to check them against anything you find. Yeah, they made a military armory. You know, this is what sounds weird about this. I guess, you know, nowadays the police would just have all that military surplus and would be using it. But I guess in this case, there's just some sort of like weapon stop. You have to make a stop in the tower district. Make sure to have a backup. It's getting rough over there, guys. Watch your butts, and <laughs> don't forget to pick up the rap sheet on your way out. Oh, by the way, Ryan, your beat assignment for the month will be Ro Romer 1. I want you to use extra support you in case anywhere in town. Okay. Oh, I guess I can't do anything. That accomplishes nothing, you giant idiot. Nothing unusual here. Wait, what was that noise? What was that noise? Let's uh, save our game. Noise. All right. So glad you all joined me in that. This is such an exciting game. Glad to have a crowd for it. Who doesn't love a little bit of Jim Wall's classic police procedural action? Let's uh, go out for a spin. Wow. Dispatch Romer 1. Romer 1 Dispatch, go ahead. I've got a 10 2. Okay, I guess our radio works. Um, I'm a little T-Pat. You saved a whole month of paper route money for this game back in the day. Oh, wow. A little bit Jim Wild. Sounds like a cover album of Jim Wild sucks. Jim Walls reunites with Jan Hammer for a little bit of Jim Walls. A terrible driving minigame. Not yet. 
Uh, let's see here. Rumor one. See the woman. Carter's Marina. Report of domestic violence. Oh, no. Domestic violence. Uh-oh. I'm on it. Rumor one. Respond code two. Dispatch. Go ahead. Okay. Guess we're going to the marina. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this game looks pretty good. Well, boy, do we get from the submarine cop. Yeah, it's several notches up from, uh, <laughs> from, uh, being a, uh, being a, uh, uh, motorcycle cop. All we have going on here. Hello. I see you are a person. It's the reporting party, Mary Jordan. How do you know that? I'm Officer Ryan, ma'am. What can you tell me about the incident? Oh, Officer. I'm so glad you're here. I found Skip crying over by Mr. Carter's. It's that Bradford Green. He's beating people up again. Oh, no. Just look at how he's beating this poor little boy. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. That's not funny. There's not... <laughs> There's... That's nothing funny about that. <laughs> That's tragic, first of all. <laughs> That's not funny is the most important thing we all have to remember here. This is a serious police procedural. Oh, beans. Oh, I got... Oh, beans. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, he has a close-up, too. Oh, it's so terrible. He looks like Spuds McKenzie. Oh, no, the rabbit. <sighs> Yeah, that's happy to eat the soundboard. Ah, oh, beans. <laughs> we'll give it a double ah, beans. Ah, oh, beans. It's Decaf Jedi on Twitch.tv. Okay, please help my mom. Uh. Crap, that's a gun! Oh no, this is escalating. Okay, uh. Well, just getting the situation under control. We're going to lock you up here to the uh, to the railing until we can uh, question everybody to make sure you weren't the aggressor. Um, lovely day at the marina, though. Many different boats. That's true. There are a lot of boats. Uh, we learned so much about Brad. Okay, well, I think first things first. They specifically said call backup. So... Uh, Let's see, what are my codes for backup? Um, because you know, this is the fun part of the game. Let's see. Oops, I lost my Blue Force manual during my restart. Uh, let me pull up my PDF of the Blue Force manual and see what all we need to call in. Let's see. Uh, need to do a classic, let's see. We're going to do a... No, we don't have a prisoner in custody. Oh, we do. 1097. Arrived at scene. And a 1035. Backup requested. So, 1097, 1035 are going to be our magic numbers. Yeah, where's Keith when you need him? I already forgot my numbers. Uh, this is hard. Uh, this is such a hard game. Um, we're going to do uh, 97.35. That's right. 97. I've arrived. Oh, you hear static. I need to request backup. Boy's mother's still in there. After finding Skip crying for Mr. by Mr. Carter's, I started to take him back to the yacht. 
heard screaming come from Bradford Green Yacht, so I popped Skip here. Lots of yachts, huh? Pretty quiet now. Where is this yacht, ma'am? Eight slips down on the left. Okay. Oh no, something's terrible. Something terrible's happened. Please go help. Okay. Uh, I gotta call this in. Okay, back up. Back up requested. Let's go. It's a good point. Ken and Roberta are really into yachting. I would love to know. Like in interviews, Jim Walls, I don't think, has ever officially revealed why he left um, Sierra back in the day. I would love to know an answer on that. Do I need to talk to this person before I proceed? Hello, backup. Uh, what's going on, Ryan? Well, Doug, let's get to it. All right, here goes. I guess I'm going to do some policing. Let's go, Doc. <laughs> yeah, it's probably it's a good time to say. I'm on my way, Jake. Let's go, Doug. Get together, Doug. Come on. Hmm. I think I see a solution to this puzzle already. Oh. <laughs> I thought maybe if I shot that, it would explode and uh, kill all the criminals nearby. The future wave. <laughs> it's a firebox. <laughs> Whatever that is. Oh, check this out. Some sort of shepherd's crook. Looks like you come in handy. It's like a chat pizza box. Probably is. Should I have to announce my presence on someone's yacht before entering it? Small locker, eh? It's locked. Classic locker. So it's time to take it out for a spin. This is the police. Open up. We need to use your gun here. Uh, this is the police. Open up. Bunch of jerks. Okay, they opened up. Your partner mimics your action. Okay. Here we go. Does the police open up? 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 Mm, very sloppy. Sloppy boy. It's a baseball card. Our stroke on the floor. Oh, y'all, they, they threw some baseball card all over the floor. The cops need a warrant. Nah, it's all good. Oh, thank you, Metal. Yes, I should rest my hands before this can say work. I think it's uh, it was more, you know, realistic as far as you know what you actually have to do. You know, investigations and uh, you know, stopping people and, and being aware and uh, doing the right things and uh, kind of more or less doing it by the book. Thank you for that sticker, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, I guess, inch in on this situation. Pow, pow, pow! Oh. Actually, okay, I didn't mean, I didn't mean it actually let me shoot. <laughs> let's go back here. Uh, sorry. All right, there we go. <laughs> Game over, everybody. <laughs> okay, um... Let's try this again. Um, it's going great. It's going great. Just great. Uh oh. Hmm. This is looking iffy. Okay. Have we already 
uh, <laughs> broken the game. Let's see here. We'll know soon enough. Putter, 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 putter. Putter, putter. Okay. Restore. Gam. All right. Um, this is fine. This is all very fine. Occasionally, games have bugs. See if our auto save works a little better. Nope. All right. Um, let's see if this one will load. Okay, it did load. Ah, there's a cursor. Okay, we're back in action and only lost a little bit of progress. Always oh, use dock spots over ScumVM. I didn't take a walk around ScumVM before launching it. That was my mistake. Okay, I think I've already done the uh, the whole uh, briefing here. Let's see if we can get something better going. This is working great. It's working great. 10 2. Ignition. Back to the police department. And then when I reignite my my motorcycle again, they'll give me the call. And four. Oh, no message was sent. Please observe proper radio discipline. You see, Jim Wallace has grown as a designer. Using the radio incorrectly would have killed us in the original police quest. I mean, it is basically police, the real police quest four. This, you know, all this open seas and stuff is like a dream. It might as well be Monkey Island three. Okay, but this is good because we get to have this conversation again. I'm Officer Ryan, ma'am. Why can you tell me about this incident? So glad you're here. I found Skip crying over by Mr. Carter's. It's that Bradford Green's beating people up again. This guy's beating this poor little boy. <laughs> Sorry, it got me again. Oh, it got me again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's terrible. Please help my mom. Oh, Brad has a gun. Please help my mom. Where's the yacht, ma'am? It's over there. Oh no, there's another shot. Okay, let's go uh, radio for the backup. Ninety-seven. Then let's uh, go back and use it again. Guess we'll tell her that backup's on the way. I think the boat was called the Future Wave. Oops. I'm out of here. <laughs> this is like a hairy situation. Hey, sorry. I know it looked like I was about to drive off for a moment, but I just, I just clicked the wrong button. I forgot how, I forgot how my motorcycle worked for a second. Um, uh, okay. Back up on route. All right. Say before entering the boat. Not a bad idea. Okay. So uh, we'll just uh, look around here until my backup gets here. Here's my backup. This guy's great. He's the best. Going on, Ryan. Well, Doug, let's get to it. Another day at the office, am I right? Um, let's see here. Let's go, Doug. Let's go, Doug. Let's go, Doug. Let's go, Doug. 
Oh man, this game is already paying off. Future Wave! <laughs> you know, since the yacht's name is Future Wave. <laughs> How did you not know? It is kind of ostentatious, isn't it? Yeah, you know, while the game can only display 256 colors, uh, this rich narrative tapestry that Jim Walls is weaving uh, paints with, uh, you know, an unlimited palette. They, uh, uh, let me in. Police situation. All right. Hello. <laughs> Use authentic police procedures if you want to survive. <laughs> Thank you, Lemmy. <laughs> Look, Bradford Green is crazy. He's also go with a gun. Woo! It's a sticker party. It's a sticker party, everyone. Thank you, Pickle Dog. For the next minute, you can slap all the stickers you want on the screen free of charge. Just hover over the window and make it happen. Two, one, go! Look at all those Jim Waldzes. Wow, look at all those gems. That is a lot of Sir Jimothy Walls right there in our faces. Look at them go. There's some cinnamon crust touch. That always uh, warms my heart. See a little bit of Gabriel Knight in there. Some uh, pride hearts. Oh my goodness, there's the Edison family. I see Lynx uh, rear end shaking at me. Uh, <laughs> stop the all-powerful demonic skull. <laughs> this might be an all-time record sticker party. This is going to take a second to peel away. Goodness gracious. That's really something else. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you for the stickers. <laughs> Pickled dog, living run, everyone. Wow. That is a lot of stickers. That's just how... That's what Jim Walls does. 36 people just going nuts. You gotta love it. All right, here we go. Peel them back, baby. Peel them back. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were dead. I forgot what was going on when we... Uh, sorry about that. He says... Uh, hey, thank you, Vitaly. Thank you so much for the cheer. I appreciate the support. Police situation. Okay. So maybe we draw our gun after all? Jim Walls brings out the best in everybody. So maybe... Okay. We've done something. It's the police were coming in. You pigs, come any closer and I'll blow her brains out. I have a beard. Like CrossFit guy. Drop your guns, you tin batch punks. You can kiss this frog goodbye. Um, it's the escalate situation. Think about what you're doing, man. Give it up and let the woman go. Oh, he slowly draws back the hammer on his pistol. Um, oh no. What does that say? Oh no. Nah. Something. Please, do what he says. Don't let him hurt. Oh, no. This is terrible. 
All right, listen, poor little girl. Now you boys put your guns down, nice and easy. Let me walk out and little Miss Pris lives. Really digging yourself a deeper hole, man. Let the woman go over my dead body. Oh, please don't let him shoot me. Time's running out, little boy blue. Her blood's gonna be on your hands. Please, please, he means what he says. I'm not gonna stand by and watch you die, Jake. I'm dropping my gun. Very sure the same comes. You harm anyone here and you're one dead punk. I need a bucket and a shovel to pick up all the be left to you, scumbag. <laughs> yeah, Doug, really, really doing a great work here. Great police work. Then something clicks in the would be killer's mind. Uh, killer with no apostrophe. He must have gotten a visual <laughs> bucket and shovel. <laughs> and trash talk worked. <laughs> and trash talk has talked this guy down. Look at that great bed, though. Look at that bedspread and matching headboard or painting. I'm not really sure. Because he suddenly goes up without fun. You pigs may take me in, but you'll never hold me. Okay. Uh. You don't want to try anything until he's restrained. I can't pick your old match my bedspread. Keep your hands in there. Turn around slowly. Place your hands behind your neck. That's how you say it. Place your hands behind your neck. Just like people would say that in the real world. Not behind your head. All right. Your backup covers you. Secure the suspect. Let's pat him down. I've played a Jim Walls game before. That's right, that's right. Ooh, we clipped through him. You carry a 357 and a knife in your boot? You worry too much, Green. <laughs> and we got Officer Doug surrender by your side. That's exactly right, Rabbit. You worry too much. Don't worry, be happy. Hey, I may have to drag him to the station with this thing. The hook is useless here. Well, with that attitude it is. Should I get the murder weapon? I need to poke around here. You don't have time for a nap. Mumbling to yourself will not help you. Yes, when I clicked my hand on this uh, mural, I was attempting to mumble to myself. You pigs may take me, but you'll never hold me. Let's see. Let's get a statement from this poor woman. Can I have your name, please, ma'am? Laura Dixon. Is my son all right? He looked too bad. <laughs> he looked hilarious, ma'am. The paramedics are cracking up looking at him right now. Can you tell me what happened here? Well, first Brad got drunk. He started yelling at my son because his baseball cards were all over the floor. And just because Skip wasn't picking them up fast enough, Brad grabbed Skip and started beating him. When I tried to stop him, he threw Skip on the floor and turned on me. When I started screaming, he threw me against the table. When you got here, he grabbed me again. Then he took out his gun and pulled me into the bedroom, and well, you know the rest. Your partner, Doug, tried to let me die there, but you were brave enough to save me. But she's very happy now that she's been rescued. Very sorry that you and your son had to go through this, Miss Dixon. I'm indebted to you, officer. My son and I could be dead right now. Now, if Officer Jake Ryan follows the Sonny Bonds playbook, He'll start dating Miss Dixon. We'll see how this turns out. Sorry, your son is Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> You're a big hero, just like all cops. Um, I just don't know how to thank you. You seem to be a little sta shaken up. Not really, though. The paramedics are here. Why don't you go out and let them have a look at you? Uh, so... Weapons that's not a flash. Hey, dog, I've got the killer's gun now. <laughs> Shoot, Doug. Doug, this has been an elaborate training day style scenario this whole time. <laughs> Brad and I are in this together. We're running drugs or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Do we just walk out? Uh. Uh. Maybe I'll talk to stupid Doug. I'll drop Mr. Personality here at the Slammer for you. Oh, what if Doug is secretly a villain a la Police Quest 3? You may not care about your own life, Doug, but don't ever give up your gun when you're packing me up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We just called out Doug big time. You may not care about your own life, Doug, but don't ever give up your gun when you're backing me up. You sorry piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, the, the portrait of Ryan is kind of unfortunate. You're right, Jake. I really blew it on that one. Sorry. When criminals tell me to do stuff, I usually just do it. Let me tell you something, you slimy little rent-a-cop. If I didn't have these handcuffs, I'd make hamburger meat out of you. You see no response. You have no internal monologue. You can think of nothing significant to say. Talking produces no response. You don't have time to sit and preen. <laughs> Sorry, no preening for you, Officer Ryan. <laughs> now we can duel well. That's a really good point. I wish I hadn't put all my, uh, my skill points into archery now. Um, with Laura safely in the hands of the paramedics, you can continue your watch. But who watches the watchman? So anyway, let's start blasting. <laughs> Pilot sweet, but out to see. Yeah, if I understand how like the legal system works here in the United States, that boat now is Ryan's, right? Like it's just cool. I have to drive it over to the evidence lockup. Wow, it's like nothing ever happened. Okay. So now we have to send a bunch more messages. Uh, let's see. We have to uh, send a message saying we have our prisoner in custody. That subject was checked. And cleared scene. So we need a 15, 15-27-98. 15-27-98. 15-27-98. 152798. 15. Suspected identifies Green Bradford. Oh, you hear a static. Do I really have to exit and leave and come back to my motorcycle to make multiple calls? Hmm. Weird. That doesn't seem right. Okay. So everything's done. Huh. All right. Well. Oh, wow. We have a scrolling city. Look at that. It's pretty exciting. Man, this game has it all. What if this game is good? Pick the game's to-do list. Yeah, where's the game's to-do list? I've been spoiled by that. What's the boat's name again? Future Wave. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, what, Tim Fort, Carol's Caffeine Castle. Absolutely. Let's see, where am I supposed to go next? Since the game has given me... Uh, no, indication. City Hall and Jail. Hmm. Let's see if we can find those on the Ding Dang Miz app. City Hall and Jail. City Hall and Jail. 
All you people out there in City Hall. Grand Bob Franny. <laughs> oh, I love this. I cannot wait to see what's lurking for us at Grandma Franny's. Oh, man. Alley Cat. Oh. I we'll assume that's a bordello that he frequents. City Hall and Jail. Perfect. Yeah, I guess I should probably take that gun somewhere, right here, Slashe? <laughs> oh, I found this. All right. Welcome to the Jackson Beach Jail. Oh, no, is that Jim Walls? Y'all. Y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all. Jim Cameo? I think that's going to be Jim Walls, y'all. Let's see. Use authentic police procedures if you want to survive. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Can't complain. How about you? It is Jim Walls. Oh, my goodness. It's Jimothy B.B. Walls himself. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Pretty good, thanks. Just holler if you need something. 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 There we go. Oh, wow. The man behind the all of records counter looks bored. <laughs> Sign looks very nice with the new furnishings. Uh, let's see. The clerk of the information counter looks like someone you would like to know better. Ah, Hachi Machi. It's just a sentient rumble. Oh man, when do we get VTuber Jim Walls using his Blue Force pixel art? <laughs> my, my, my. I feel like uh, that's a job for uh, Kevin. Kevin, when can you get my VTuber Jim Walls alter ego put together using this uh, animation? <laughs> can you imagine trying to explain to Jim Walls what Twitch is? And then what a VTuber is, and then explaining to him that there's a VTuber using a, a PNG of him from uh, Blue Force, a game he may not remember working on. <laughs> My name's Jake, what's yours? <laughs> he introduces himself like a seven year old, and I love it. <laughs> oh no, Kevin, please don't really waste time on that. That's terrifying. I'm Mr. Walls. Can I wear your face? Uh, my name's Jake. What's yours? My friends call me Haley. You can call me Miss McCoy. Well, you are here to provide information, right? That's what the sign says. I'll stop the bleeding caused by cutting remark, Miss McCoy. <laughs> In fact, the people are entertained by this. Yeah, Mr. Walls would be so confused. I think we're getting nagged hard, and now we're trying to be clever. In your case, a little direct pressure. Carefully applied. Good day, Mrs. McCoy. Oh, she's a missus. He's hitting on a married woman. Have you seen this gun I found? <laughs> oh, I found it work today. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Walls! <laughs> I was dropped over here in evidence lockup. Oh. Is <laughs> the party supposed to make me nauseous? <laughs> yes. The counter and furnishings look new. The counter and furnishings look new. The plant is an expensive silk reproduction of a very famous plant. This is a game, not a play thing. Uh, hey, buddy. I got your gun, look. Let's save before I do something stupid.
I've got your gun. Oh. Maybe we can trash talk him some more. Enjoy your stay, Mr. Green. I hope it's a nice long one. I've got friends. They'll have me out here before dark. This is the Wild West. We do prison breaks all the time. <laughs> They'll tie some horses up to these bars and slap them on the ass, and I'll be out of here <laughs> before dinner time. <laughs> these are booking forms. Filling out the booking form will require the suspect's name, address, and other personal information. Oh, wait. What's this? You fill out the booking form. Okay, do I now have a booking form? Here's his ID and booking sheet, Larry. He's all checked in. Here's your copy of the book you slip in your handcuffs. I never thought about the fact that I'd have to get my handcuffs back. Wait, do I not give him the stuff? Is that not how this works? Oh, I guess I go back to the police department for the evidence lockup now. The assassination of death by the coward! Bradford Green! Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's gonna be our friend Barry. Hi, I'm Jake. Nice to meet you, Barry. You see, probably the reason I'm not a cop is I would have taken that time to do some cool knife tricks right in front of uh, Bradford Green just to really show off uh, the skills that I have and really taunt him for the position he's landed himself in. But there you go. Uh, <laughs> you know, Eloquent Duck, this is a good question. This thing feels like it might be a toy, right? I don't know why it let us get it. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can catch ourselves a date. The hook is useless here. Wow. I can't believe this is a video game. Oh my goodness. Where has it been all my life? Oh yeah, we should go catch a Jim Walls. <laughs> She's for dragging unfunny NPCs off screen. Exactly, T Pat. That's the that's the correct answer. Cook is still useless here. Ding dang it. What's even the point of all this? Alright, to the station. Oh, I gotta get to Grandma Franny soon though. Pre-S Gem I date. Yeah, this is a great point. I don't like that uh, it didn't even give us the option. He could have just as easily rejected us as uh, Miss McCoy. Yeah, the thing is, so far, this isn't horrible. On the line of all video games, this is on one side. Beavis and Butthead Virtual Stupidity is on the other. I would like to hear more about this theory, Grayson. Please elaborate on how those are the two polar extremes of video games. Because this is the most fascinating continuum I've ever heard of. Oh, I found this hook. Hey, you like knives? Look at this one. How about guns? This is a pretty nice item for a scumbag like Green. I'd hate to see him get it back. Well, from what I heard about the bus, it's not likely he'll ever see it again. Do I have to give this stuff to him? Come on, rookie. Bookie slips go in Sutter's mailbox. Fine. I guess I'll be on the lookout for this forest follow guy. You do that. Just be sure to check any evidence you come across against his rap sheet. Thanks for the advice. See ya. Green's booking slip is evidence, not a play thing. Oh, you just have to find the right folder. It's, it's just like I found evidence. 
or just something that I took from a crime scene because I thought it'd be fun to carry around a hut. This music does kind of kick ass. This is not a bad game. I'm telling you, so far, this is uh, this is not bad at all. This is kind of working. Okay, um, let's see. Look at the bulletin board. It says my walkthrough. The bulletin board it told us before was very uninteresting. In fact, on the bulletin board, you see an inner office memo. Ooh, those are the best kinds of memos. To Jackson Beast Police Department from Agent Lottie Forbes, Federal Bureau of Investigation. That's the FBI to you and me, Russ. An ongoing investigation of Philippine rebel Renato Aruna has uncovered gun smuggling activity possibly originating in your jurisdiction. We're gun riding to the Philippines, I guess. All right. Wow, rap actually does stand for something. I had no idea. So this is one of those classic <laughs> gun running with the Philippines. Evidence is inconclusive at this time. Anyone with information, contact Agent Forbes. Okay, well, we've uh, we've learned about that. Uh, let's see here. So the bulletin board and read the memo and teletype. There's also a teletype. What's a teletype? A formal inspection is scheduled in the parking lot tomorrow, immediately following briefing. Okay, that seems important. Now head outside to your back and drive away. To where? It doesn't matter. Let's just say. Off we go. Ah, that smuggling ring's probably just a red herring. <laughs> What's the teletype with you? It's me, the cool guy that just joined the force. Let's see, where should I go? Tony's Bar. That sounds kind of promising. What other destinations do we have? We've got Tony's Bar. This pixel Hut. The Alley Cat. Still am curious what the Alley Cat is. Just pixel hunting. Pixel hunting all day long. Enough pickups. Oh, Jameson and Ryan. Oh, watch out! A boys with a smuggling ring. I, I would play the internal affairs game. Oh God, can you imagine a Jim Walls game where you're an internal affairs officer? You know he was snitching out uh, people at his department constantly. Okay, I feel like it's the alley cat. Uh oh. Passing through the tower district on route to your destination, you pull over a pickup. The driver has been driving recklessly and apparently tried to avoid you. The truck idles at the curb. The occupants wearing gang colors. Uh-oh. Still a nervous glance in your direction. Okay, this is... <laughs> this is where it's probably got a high chance of, uh, <clears throat> of being problematic. Yeah, we're just going to give it a preemptive oof here. The passenger of the truck. Uh, you're going to need to... You get in my face and I'll pop you, man. Uh, <laughs> yes, big time oof. Big time oof. Oh, no. Oh, wait, now this is important. Everyone stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin the image and the game that you're used to. It's time for artificial intelligence, where we take a user-generated prompt, we feed it into the mid-journey AI uh, robot, and we get ourselves 
whatever comes out on the other end. And this is a fantastic prop, courtesy of Ricky. Let's see, Jim Wall's sequel to Codename Iceman, starring Cedric the Owl. I'm going to assume that this uh, <laughs> this art robot is going to know what all of those words mean. And I'm just going to plug them straight in there. And we're going to share with you the results once this, uh, this high-tech wonder has finished its work. So I have now entered the prompt. The AI is considering the prompt. This looks like evil Jim Walls. It does look like Jim Walls. It's like how Jim Walls dressed for Halloween. Pop, that sounds lovely. Okay, so let me uh, let me check the progress here. Oh wow, <clears throat> we're at twelve percent. Twelve percent. Oh, this is getting interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Twenty percent. Twenty seven percent. I think we're definitely going to get the Cedric element there. Oh, the uh, the bot gave up. It went back to 0%. It decided to start over completely. The AI could not handle what we were throwing at it. Oh, it has restarted 100%. I've never seen this happen. This prompt is uh, too powerful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Jim Wall's sequel to Codename Iceman starring Cedric the Owl. Get ready, y'all. Get ready. Oh, my goodness. So far, no submarines. It's possible that somehow this AI doesn't know the game codename Iceman. Oh my god. <laughs> One of these looks fantastic. I've got to tell you, be ready <laughs> for a game you're going to want to play. So uh, hold on to your butts. It's coming soon. We're at 57%. And I have to say, I am excited about where this is going. We are going to see some really fantastic... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is getting some, like, secret life of Walter Mitty action going on. I can't begin to describe to you <clears throat> what a nice image we're going to be sharing because we're right now at 75%, 82%. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is fantastic. Okay, so <laughs> here comes, in just a few moments, 95%. It's the Jim Wall sequel to Codename Iceman, starring Cedric the Owl, generated by the Mid-Journey AI robot. Let me just save it to my desktop, and then I will click the requisite buttons to share it with all of you. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Y'all ready for this? Um, I'm going to click this button, this button, and I'm going to do one of these, I'm going to do this. I'm going to browse over here, and I'm going to double-click this. And that is your <laughs> Codename Iceman sequel starring Cedric the Owl. And I want you to spend just a moment looking at that image on the left and uh, really just work your way through what that video game is going to look like. <laughs> I don't know what that game is, but I'm all about it now. That's right. I want to see this film and or game. Like, the owl is fine. Whatever. The owl's an owl. But that picture on the left, ma'am. <laughs> yes, that's true. It looks really good at the current caption, too. <laughs> yeah, hell of a duck. Pickle dog. You're right. You get in my face and I'll pop you, man. We think the owl is saying that to uh, this guy who's imagining himself as... Uh, as the Bram Stoker Dracula of Dracula from the movie Dracula from the 1990s. Uh, but, okay, we got to get back to this game. Enough silly. Thank you for redeeming that. That was uh, that was fantastic, Ricky. Woo. Okay. Back to the action, because this scene can't be put off any further. Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. Sh oh. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, you're pushing, uh, pushing this uh, this uh, stuff too far, man. Shit. Uh, I said put your hands in the... You dead, sucker. Oh, gosh. Headshot. They say you never hear the bullet that kills you. You distinctly remember a little voice screaming. Call for backup in the tower district. 
just before feeling the slug enter your forehead. Wow. This is quite graphic. Okay. So that was not the solution to that puzzle. <laughs> there goes the game again. <laughs> okay, let's try this oh, one more time. Load. All right, here we go. So, uh, let's see. Get my face and I'll pop you, man. Oh, wait, I, I forgot that. <laughs> okay, not ideal. Not ideal. I simply would have dodged the bullet. I don't know what's wrong with uh, Officer Ryan. Okay, let's talk to him once. Okay. Oh, yes. I forgot. It's literally told me I need radio for backup, didn't it? Uh, sorry about that. I know how to play video games. Let's see. What is our backup code? 1035 is the code we want to use. I like that. He's just going to stand there while I call for backup. Uh, please send backup. I like how lazily the uh, the driver of this vehicle, just the scene in general, has been rendered here. Uh, most of the game looks pretty good. I feel like that is some kind of lazy work. Oh, there's an interview with Jim Walls on the CD version? Oh. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get back to the action. ETA for Victor 33 is momentarily. Wait. Wow, that is momentarily. It's not Doug, is it? Oh, God. Oh, uh, what's the deal, Jake? These guys are acting pretty suspicious. Watch them while I check it out. Ah, you got it, Jake. And if they ask you if they can hold your gun or something, tell them no. Said, stay where you are and put your hands in there. So we can talk to him now. Keep your hands where I can see him. If you really want to party with me, you're going to need to keep your hands where my eyes can see. Why are you riding my jock, man? Why, why are you riding my jock, man? Don't dug this up, Doug. Watch the other guy, Doug. I'll deal with this clown. Go for it, Jake. I've got you covered. Unless I decide not to. Try to try a little while. Why are you two trying to lose me? You hiding something in the truck? I've got to tell you nothing, man. I watch TV. I know my rights. Come on, hot shot. What's in the truck? I don't know. You tell me. You're the chump with the badge. Thanks for the invitation, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Doug's just itching to throw that gun on the ground. Wow, we got his ass. That's exactly right. We tricked you into giving us permission to search your vehicle. Ha! That shows you don't actually have rights after all when the cops know the law better than you do. Well, I'll have to take that from you. Uh, let's save real quick. <laughs> Mmm, confrontation. Jim Walls is so horny for cops. You're right, Nick. You're absolutely right. Don't push me, man. I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> Assume the position. You'd like that, huh? Okay. All right. Let's we'll search you. Hmm. Well, well, well. What have we here? Did your mama tell you that carrying a concealed weapon is a felony? Uh, what are you looking for? A little lower in the lab, uh, Trump. We'll see if you're such a wise ass after you've been booked for possession of a concealed weapon. This was evidence, not play thing. 
Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw the book at you, slime ball. Yeah. Keep your hands off of me, pig. Doing that serves no purpose. How are you doing over here, dog? You got this under control? After you, Jake, uh, I'll follow your lead. What a dingleberry. Um, let's see here. What are we doing? 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 Let's see. I think we need to get our ticket book. Hey, this is Doc Scott. <laughs> Wait, there's a... Oh, here it is. It's my ticket book. Take the Miranda card. Oh, wow, we have a Miranda card. I love these great images of our... Uh... Oh, wait, was that... Whose license is that? Oh, that's this guy's license. Uh, let's see. Where's our Miranda card? You've already memorized the Miranda card. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney present for all questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand the rights that I've just read to you? Balls! Does your mother know you use words like that? Um, you've already read his rights. You know, I should read you the right. Your, I should read you the riot act, Doug. You nearly let me die just earlier today. Did Kawasaki pay a promotional fee? I'm guessing no. Driver, step out of the vehicle slowly. <laughs> All right, sure. Step out of the vehicle now. You're trying pretty hard to lose me. What have you got to hide? Lose you for what? I've got nothing to hide from your pig ass. Can't do nothing to me, man. Just back the oh. I'm, well, I'm out of uh, I'm out of handcuffs. So I don't know what I can do now. Bite me, bozo. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna rhyme a ticket. This is gonna be great. Totally gonna work. You sure can. <laughs> you ticket the driver for reckless driving. Wait, do we shrink? Did my brain just mess up, or did did both <laughs> did both of those character models shrink? Did that happen? Did anyone else see that? Did Ryan get smaller? It did. Okay, it definitely happened. Okay, well, that happens sometimes. Doug, cuff that low life. Oh, uh, you want me to give him the, your cuffs? You know the drill. Let's go, mister. It's me, Doug. I'm a police officer. Stop all the downloading. <laughs> so this situation feels like it's under control. Uh, I guess we'll uh, search the truck. Watch these two guys, Doug. We're going to put Doug in charge of two guys. Okay. What you got the broken? No, oh, no problem, Jake. We're trying sandwiches. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh... Oh, look at this interior shot. This will activate the horn. <laughs> activate horn. Fucking oh, horn serves no purpose. <laughs> Computer, activate horn. 
<laughs> what a bananas thing to write in your video game. <laughs> no problem, cured slash A. The odometer indicates only 15,000 miles on the truck. The dashboard of the vehicle has a built-in shell. The interior of the vehicle is surprisingly clean for a low-life scumball criminal. Gamers only ride in their back seat while their moms take them everywhere. The seatbelt hangs behind the seat. Click it or ticket. Webbing feels strong enough. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yes, here we go. The webbing feels strong enough. The variety is making Infocom's riders green with jealousy. Absolutely. I know we need to go whip. <laughs> I know we need to go to the glove box, but this lever rolls the window up and down. Huh. You don't need to roll the window down. The seat is an ordinary truck bench seat. The interior of the people is surprised. Okay. Oh. You see three cartridges, one 9mm and two, one twenty two caliber. I'll take those as evidence. The upholstery feels like any other. The upholstery feels like any other. Is it a crime to have bullets in the United States? No, honestly, there are probably some states now where it's a crime not to. Topical. So uh, just the vent. Okay. Wait. Really? I can't. I can't get into the glove box. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Let's see here. So, which one of these is our wrap sheet? Okay, I may have screwed this up. I think I may have uh, soft locked this. This is really a Jim Walls game. I know, it's hard to believe. So that's the rap sheet. Uh oh. Okay, let's restore real quick. Okay. We're going to have to go back a little bit. Don't push me, man. Here you go. Star store for sure once more. Well, well, well. Okay, let's go back and get our Miranda rats out again. Shrink. 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 Okay. Okay. Pop it up and da. Talk to this guy. Who's <laughs> Miranda Rat and why Jim has such a thing for? Okay. Pop 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 pop. Enforcing the law. Okay, let's see if we shrink again when we wrap this ticket. Okay, we kind of grew. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This time we grew very tall. One ticket makes you smaller. The next one. <laughs> Sorry. Stop that low life. Rub him up. Good job, Doug. You didn't nearly get me killed this time. Okay. Let's try searching this vehicle again. Riding tickets to a cop is like mushrooms to Mario.
That's exactly right. Put <laughs> Apple Pop because it's on TikTok. It's not a bad idea. Um, let's see here. So uh, just again to be clear, this will activate the horn. And then we need to take the wrap sheet. These rounds match the ones described on Follett's rap sheet. I think we would have been soft locked if we hadn't done this because there's no way I think to do it once it's in your inventory. Once it's in your inventory, you can't click one inventory item on another. I have a feeling this would have soft locked us if, uh, if we hadn't. Yeah, yeah. This could be from the Strathmore heist. I mean, that's that's classic gym though, right? Like that is that's gym out the wazoo. It could be none more gym. How do I escape this scene now? Oh no. Yeah, we didn't Miranda the first guy. This is a really good point. Okay, I think we're stuck now. Hmm. Doug, I'm stuck in the car. Come help me. Beep, 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 beep. No, it's not escape. I can't escape the car. <sighs> Shoot the horn. I'll do it with the suspect's gun. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, let's just uh, restore back. <laughs> do this whole thing again. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, they're for official use only. All right. This activates the horn. Okay. Pat him up, pat him down. Go get our ticket book and our Miranda doohickeys. I'm trying to write this guy a ticket too. There's no reason to write a ticket here. What were you thinking? Grant, it's wrong. Jim don't want to be right. Okay. Is this game so far a little better than most of the police quests? Okay, here we go. Will they get taller or smaller? I'm going to say initially taller, then smaller. Boink. Oh, you didn't find all the evidence. Once you do, it automatically leaves. Okay, here we go. Doug, cut that low life. So far, it's much better than Police Quest 3. Yeah, I have no complaints so far for a Jim Walls game. By the standard of Jim Walls games, this one is perfectly cromula. Okay, let's save. So far, so good. Now, I'm going to explore this vehicle. Police Quest 2, I think, is the gold standard of Jim Walls games. I mean, I'm, always, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I like Doug better as a supporting character than Keith already. Why don't you just tell us where the rest of the evidence is? Mm-hmm. Is there an anime version of Blue Force? Now, this is a great question. What other evidence could there possibly be? Oh. 
some sort of lever. Boom. Wow. What's that? I see a military assault rifle and a wig. Oh, man. Y'all could have a pretty good weekend in Vegas with all that. <laughs> Stepped away and here consents it. Yeah, we tricked them into giving us consent, Grayson. So this game is definitely a uh, realistic portrayal. Hey, dog, I got this wig you got. Okay, let's see here. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, use your rap sheet. Oh, wait. I think I ding dang soft locked it again. I went. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh, just let me keep that inventory item as I came over to this scene. Okay. I wish we had some sort of uh, conservative Twitter influencer here to uh, tell us that that's not technically an assault rifle or something. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's not a soft lock, but I guess maybe we'd be in danger of not finding out everything we need to know. Ah, it's from Fallout's rap sheet. These guys are going to be in the slammer for a long time. Get ready to get slammed. Were there other switches? I haven't tried filling with switches. Let's see. So, oh, no. I was supposed to tell Doug what happened. Damn it. Why did Doug just drive off? What is wrong with Doug? Why would he just drive off? Doug, just the worst. Non-zero chance Mr. Twitter caused the new verification racket. <laughs> Blue Force. <laughs> These guys are at home, Jake. Oh, that's classic, Doug. Wait, this is my rap sheet, isn't it? Okay. Let's try this again. The slammer. Okay, here's what happened, Doug. I've got a fully automatic government issue assault rifle here, Doug. Take him in, I'll be down to book the guy cuffed. My pleasure, Jake. That probably didn't need to happen. Okay, now I need to radio in a 152798. 152798. Okay. To the lockup which was somewhere. Yeah, Doug could really use some work on uh, police procedure. Doug's just not, not quite up to speed yet. By the way, thank, every, thank you all for being here tonight. I'm so glad uh, we have such a wonderful crowd here for this fine game. If you're just joining us, this is Blue Force. It's a 1993 point-and-click game from... Police Quest designer Jim Walls, Doug the Inter. And so far, it has been a something else. Good day, Mrs. McCoy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. Also, did they get really tiny? 
Hey, eloquent duck, Brad told us he was breaking out of here. This shouldn't be a surprise. Also, am I now like three foot, feet taller than, than these gang members? <laughs> Better watch your back. I know who you are. Oh, yeah? Ball's rap sheet is useless here. I guess I pull it out first. Okay. About the booking form. Book him, Dano. Uh, hey, Dano. Uh, book him. Here you go, Larry. He's all checked in. Oh, I didn't realize that Larry and Barry look alike. We have twins. The the booker, the guy's booking them here is, I think this, is it, no, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm matching that. Is it the same guy? Is it Barry and Larry and they're twins? Did I matching that? Maybe I'm just confused. Yeah, well, we have a bunch of identical looking legal documents the player has to use. Okay. I guess I should save. Barry, this is my brother Larry. This is my other brother Larry. Uh, back to the police station. I'm a little too fat. You should definitely stay up to find out what Jay Grind does after <laughs> after work. Who knows where this could go? Okay, so the joke is they're the same dude, right? Or it's an identical twin situation. First, let's put that in there. Ding. Then let's uh, give him the snub nose pistol, the evidence. Here's a wig I found. There's an assault rifle. That'll do it for today, Barry. It's about quitting time for you, isn't it, Jake? You got it. Oh, you played this one. Oh, man. Let's see here. So, uh... Go down the side corridor and get changed. And then go see Grandma Franny. Okay, this is getting ready to get wonderful. After hours is what I live for. Oh, that's right. You, I lost track of... Wow, we really got changed quickly. I've lost track of who uh, who it was and said they'd save paper out money. That's fantastic. I had no idea this game existed until probably five or six years ago. Did I just take my work back? You can't use your motorcycle when you're off duty. You big goofus. Okay. Time to go see Grandma Franny. It doesn't really give us any prompt as to where we're supposed to go, which seems how weird. But all good police officers go see their grandmother after work. Oh wow, look at this. Wow. Yeah, Granny's loaded, definitely. It seems like the TV is always on. Okay, that's accurate so far. Granny likes to leave the TV on, baby. Oh, those don't need to be straightened. You're very proud of the photos of you and your dad. His outfit is terrific. 
The flames dance across the logs. Ah, oh, Jim. Fran knitted this afghan the year after your dad was killed. I'm sorry. That's not funny. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. It's not as funny as that kid with the black eye earlier, but you know. Ah, the couch. Ah, oh, the couch. Most people can't get out of you like this to go indoors, but Grant has a green thumb. <laughs> Granny enjoys tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that got me. <laughs> If I had to sum up this, this woman in, in one sentence, I would say, Ah, she's a TV watcher. <laughs> and little grannies enjoy television. You respect your elevator. Stop pushing them around. The room has a warm, comfortable feel. Paper towel? Grand's kitchen is always spotless. You can't afford to put on any more weight. Granny's fridge is like an old friend. <laughs> this is your living room and kitchen. Is it mine or is it... Do I live with my grandma? Okay, there's a lot to take in here, but first let's go talk to Grant. <laughs> oh, Jake, Child Protective Services called for you earlier. Little boy Skip seems to have lost a baseball card at the marina. Caseworker wants you to try to find it and read over the CPS building tonight if you can. Skip is hysterical over losing it, and they're hoping the card will help calm him down. Ah, for crying out loud! What are they calling me for? I've had a long day. Jake, I'm surprised at you. <laughs> that little boy certainly had more difficult... <laughs> more difficult day than you have. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I gotta pull it together. But Gran, I remember the time your father, God rest his soul, I knitted that afghan for him. Went out and got you that special baseball card when you broke your leg? The poor little boy doesn't have a father. I don't either, Grandma. You're right, Gran. I guess I just didn't think. Maybe I'll bring the kid and his mother home for dinner. <laughs> it might help calm him down. Very appropriate. I can't stress enough how appropriate it is to invite <laughs> a couple of victims in an ongoing case over to dinner to help calm them down. Would that be okay, Gran? Jake, you can have friends for over for dinner anytime. Don't forget to ask them to dinner, dear. I won't, Gran. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is amazing. This is... I'm telling y'all, this is top-notch Retro Adventure Wednesday action right here. Hot roast. I would kill for some hot roast. Your grandfather used to spend hours in his office. Oh, your father's badge. Let's take it. Nothing happens. That accomplishes nothing. Nothing in the file cabinets will help you. The chair's okay where it is. Do you think there's a good chance we'll get a close-up of the computer if we attempt to use it? Grandma's watercolor paints can't help you. Certificate of Appreciation. Given to you by the Lions Club. The best Santa Claus of the season.
check the computer has enough. Yeah, I'm not sure if we live here either. You don't need it. Can't use the computer while Granny is optimizing the hard drive. <laughs> Your dad's old computer. Wait. <laughs> Wasn't her dad killed like more than a decade ago? Nah, it doesn't matter. Fine, whatever. Is there more room over here? I guess I need to go back to the marina, huh? Here we go. Baseball card. Okay. Here we are. do this thing. I wonder if this hook is going to come into play. It's time to go back to the future way. This is a place where it's not apparent you can uh, exit on the screen. Let's see here. Ah. So it's not here that I need to be. I think there's like some mini traffic jam going on at the moment. I know, maybe those, I think those might be Seagulls is what we're hearing. Well, we can't exit this screen. I guess that's game over. Okay, let's try going back. Go left, young man. Oh, that's a good looking boat rental screen. Oh, uh, also, speaking of which. Glass bottom boat. Ah. Uh, it cruises. Sunken galleon. Man, I like this. This looks great. Mr. Carter is the owner. A fake tank. There's some postcards. Some coolers. A small Marlin. Get wrecked, Marlin. Wow, picture of Mr. Carter's granddaughter at last year's Miss Jackson Beach contest. Anchor lines. Expensive fishing reels and whatnot. You see a counter. Cash register. There's some jackets. T-shirts and tackle box. A variety of items. Place has it all. Swinging doors lead to a back room. Thanks, Jim. Hi, Mr. Carter. 
How have you been? Jake Ryan, I haven't seen you since you went off to go see that movie, Police Academy. What can I do for you? Looking for a number three Bassmaster Super Shaker, if you got one? That's a freshwater lures. I mostly stock soft water down. You're not in parallel like that freshwater. Good point. Thanks for the advice. Anytime. Thanks. Really? That's the discussion that I'm going to have? Okay, what well, I actually have to do. Look at the bulletin board on the right. Maybe that was outside. I don't see a bulletin board. <laughs> it's right to you a variety of items. Just imagine what that could entail. It could literally be anything. Oh, wait, there's the bulletin board. Aha! I've done it. I've solved your bulletin board puzzle, Jimothy. Skip Dixon has something of yours. Bring this note to Mr. Carter. Hey, things are looking up. Duh. It's a great day for me, Jake Ryan. Uh, I found this note. Hi, Mr. Carter. I was here earlier dealing with the domestic disturbance. I saw this note. Skip called me earlier. He really misses his baseball card. I was hoping maybe that's what you found. Ah, uh, sure thing, Ryan. I got it right here. You gonna take that right over to Skip? Yeah, the real guy's upset. Not many folks are going to such trouble. It's not bad. Why don't you take a couple of discount coupons for boat rentals? He deserves some kind of reward. Thanks, Mr. Carter. I bet Skip will be really glad to get his card back. I bet it's a Billy Ripken error card. What do you bet? Old Rockface himself. <laughs> Grand really gave me a stern talking to over this. What's that? <laughs> What's your boat rail about to be foolish? I know Grand told me to go get that kid and bring him over for dinner. <laughs> I got these boat rental coupons that are burning a hole in my pocket right now. <laughs> okay. Where is Child Protective Services? What a great location to get to visit in a video game. In a video game where you can do anything, why not stop in on Child Protective Services? Maybe when she said Child Protective Services, she meant Tony's Bar. Okay, where is CPS? I'm part of the game this is the oh that's still the alley cat. Wait, wait, wait. There's a place called Bikini Hut. <laughs> okay, we'll have to check this out later. Uh we wanna say bikini hut. But again, that's a whole hot spot that I've never managed to successfully find in the past. Whoop, 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 whoop. Police department. Where is CPS? It's on the left. Okay, great start. Wait, I think I saw it. Yes! Thank you, Ricky. Parking lot. You've seen him before. You know what the deal is.
Another decent looking scene. Plastic truck. Blocks. Look at the pictures, you wonder why public buildings are all decorated the same way. Uh, hello, Miss Dixon, how are you doing? You can call me Laura, I'm doing fine. It's Skip that's the problem, he's hysterical over losing his baseball card. Be careful with this card. Here you go, dummy. My card, you found it! Oh, my eyes feel a lot better, mister. Don't you and your mom like to come to my house for dinner tonight? I wouldn't mind sleeping with your mother. Would you like to come over? Well, that's not necessary. My grandmother's a great cook. I live with her. It's not weird. It's not sad or anything. Please, mom, I want to hang out with this cop. Please, call me Jake. How'd you argue your baseball card collection, Skip? I think you pestered Jake enough. Sorry, Jake. There are cool cards, though. No problem, Skip. I know how you feel. Did everyone get enough to eat? Plenty, Grandma. As usual, it was delicious. I say we leave the dishes for now and go out for a breath of fresh air. I'll have to go for a walk. You kids go ahead. I'll just wash these up real quick. I want to go too. Hurry up, Mom. See you in a little while, Graham. Oh no, Sonneveld, wholesome decaf. <laughs> here, here we are, standing on the porch. <laughs> At attention. <laughs> Good to see you, Sonneveld. <laughs> The dog. <laughs> oh my goodness, this game is wonderful. Love it. I love everything about it. You can think about it say. Oh well. Bunch of people all facing the same way and dangling their arms the same way. Waylon seems raring to go. Well, them seems great to see you. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, wow, here we go. So you should always let your dog off leash before you go down to the beach. Locals love it when you take your dog out uh, without a leash on the beach. Laura seems to be relaxing. Yeah. I'll be right back, Laura. BRB. You go ahead, Jake. I'll wait here. <laughs> That's a great question. Where is Doug when we need him? I'll keep producing no response. <laughs> Doggy produces no response. Use a. Well, that says it's useless here. Oh no. What is it, bud? be great if he brought back, like, his leg bone. <laughs> oh, wait, we just have to keep... Uh, throwing the stick, I think. 
Yeah, just classic night out with some strangers. What'd you bring back this time, Leyland? This isn't the piece of driftwood we've been playing with. Wait, why do we throw it? Let's see what appears to be a piece of a wooden wooden packing crate. Okay. Who did Skip, boy? You remember Skip. You just met him moments ago. Well, wow, look at that great piece of wood. Oh well. It's the kid and the dog are gone. I found this great wood. Being called, we better be eating back soon. Okay, gang, back to the house. Hey, look who's here. Oh, hi, Lyle. Let me introduce everyone. This is Laura Dixon and her son, Skip. This is Lyle Jameson. Lyle's been like a father to Jake. Don't get started, Crab. Jake, it was really nice of you to have us over. Skip and I had a wonderful time. We really need to be going. Is this like Jake's AA sponsor, or what's going on here? It's my pleasure. Stay out of trouble, Skip, and take good care of those baseball cards. No problem, Jake. Bye! Not nice shorts. Hey, RJ Helps! What in the world is this? This is Blue Force. It is a game from the creator uh, Police Quest, released in 1993. Congratulate you on your first day as a cop. I'm proud of you. Did that without you. It's been my pleasure. Being such a snot-nosed little brat, you turned out all right. Uh, okay. I found this piece of wood out on the beach. It's like a piece of a packing crate. Come in water more than a couple hours. Look at the lettering. U.S. Army, you're working towards something, kids. Spill it. We were briefed this morning on Armory Heist over in Strathmore. It's a good thing my dog found this. Every time someone steals a gun, you start trying to connect it to your parents' murder. You gotta let go, son. They're gone. You can't bring them back. I've tried for ten years. I've tried. But necromancy was never the answer. There's nothing out there to find. I'm sorry, son. I really am. Sorry he doesn't bring back my parents. Okay. Talk to Lyle. Who's the girl? She's pretty. She's someone I met today. I saved her from being murdered. Now I'm hoping that I can use that asymmetry of power in our relationship and my status as a professional who saved her life, uh, possibly to date her. Okay, good. So you're picking up battered women now. Oh, no, nothing like that. You know me, the only thing I ever pick up is junk off the beach. I still into that pile of look what I found. Some habits are hard to break. Stop by the office, blah, blah, blah. Sure thing, Lyle. Okay. Put in the den. Okay, so all of our baseball cards are in here now. Old shoebox. My grand killed your parents. It all makes sense. Uh-oh. 
we can't look at it. I haven't saved in a long time. Oh no, I think I screwed up. The next day. Grand is secretly Joe Chill. 172. Uh oh. Alright, sweet, a free nickel. Now we have it all. I think that's the end of day one, and we spilled it over to day two, and their interfaces started looking all weird. Uh, but this is perfect timing. Uh, we're just hitting the two hour mark, it's just getting to be around my bedtime. We finished the first day of this game, and y'all, I'm digging it. It's uh, it's pretty good stuff so far. I'm, I'm on board. I'm curious to see what what happens? Yeah, it's like a Banksy game. It's just being shredded in front of us, and that's what makes it art. Uh, but for now, we do need to call it quits. Uh, goodness gracious, thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. I've had a blast playing this one, and I can't wait to play more. Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out. We should, uh, we should raid somewhere. I'll be back with more of this next week. Don't you worry. There is going to be more of this game next Retro Adventure Wednesday, but where shall we raid? Oh my goodness. Lots of fun stuff going on. Hmm. Let's raid over to, uh, Nintendo, who is playing Resident Evil Eight Village, a game I like quite a bit. That should be a, a complete change of pace from what we're doing over here. Let's drop in over there, say hello, let them know that Decap Jedi sent you. Thanks for hanging out. This is good times. I can't wait to see where this is going next. So I'm going to hit the raid button. I will see y'all on the other side. And uh, yeah, take care and uh, and have a good rest of your retro adventure Wednesday.